Alien Abduction is probably the smallest, most exciting game to come out on the VCS. If it looks like an Atari 2600 game, that's because it is. Alien Abduction was made by John Van Ryzen, a legendary video game programmer who originally made one of the best games on the 2600 for Activision called Hero. If Alien Abduction looks a bit like a Hero sequel, it basically is, although it stands alone in its own right just as well. How cool is it to see an actual brand new 2600 game ROM released on the new VCS? This is probably more than I could have hoped for back in the Indiegogo days. At the moment, Alien Abduction's an exclusive, although it seems nearly certain Atari's eyeing this game for a physical release through the XP line, or maybe a renamed version of the same idea, and they absolutely should. There's no question I'd buy this in a box with swaggy bits to play on my original hardware. Unfortunately, there's been some piracy talk associated with the game already due to its tiny file size and the relatively unlocked environment of Atari OS and Linux in general. It'd be a huge shame if piracy left Ryzen without the financial success he's owed for undertaking this task, decades after the original release of his Atari games for Activision and later Absolute Entertainment. Maybe you feel differently about piracy. I know some people who don't own VCSs are eyeing the ability to drop this ROM into Stella if they could only get the ROM outside of the VCS. It's likely to get a wider digital release eventually, and you should definitely buy the game then. Ryzen made games for the Super Nintendo, NES, Commodore 64, ColecoVision, Apple II, and beyond, but he may be best known for Hero, Cosmic Commuter, and F-18 Hornet for the 2600. It's interesting as post-Atari days included being a co-founder of Absolute Entertainment with fellow programmers David Crane and Gary and Dan Kitchen. Crane and crew released Circus Convoy for the Atari 2600 in 2020 through their own independent Audacity games. An alien abduction seems to get could have been a similar story, except it isn't. Audacity has yet to follow up the 2020 release of Circus Convoy, although Dan Kitchen's Casey's Gold has been in a coming soon state for more than two years. Whatever the story with Audacity games, it's great that the game is now in the hands of Atari, who immediately saw its potential and debuted it on the VCS. FYI, if anyone from Audacity hears this, I'd love to see the digital release of Circus Convoy on the VCS. Alien Abduction is 16 kilobits in size, but features 20 levels, 140 different play screens, and 16 enemies or obstacles. This is the kind of linear action-adventure game that was relatively common on the 2600, but feels less common today. Once you've completed the game, future playthroughs are mostly about maintaining accuracy and getting a higher score. The controls take a few minutes to get used to, but once you figure out that up starts you flying and down lands you on a level, it makes a lot more sense. There's a shoot button to shoot things, and you'll press down to activate detonators to clear paths forward. You need to maintain your energy and health with speed and power-ups, and you have several lives before it's game over. So far I've saved ten princesses. Why aliens have abducted these ladies isn't clear. Perhaps a future physical release will have a story text and a manual to give more info. Not that it's really needed. Alien abduction is tricky to master. I found particular trouble with vertical pools of some kind of acid, and a chasing zombie thing has also been difficult to survive. Knowledge of how to play hero helps, but isn't required. Since this is a 2600 ROM, there's no online leaderboards or online anything, and the game is single player. As you'd expect and hope, the game plays great with a classic controller, and it's definitely the best way to play the game. Ryzen himself isn't really the promo or hype type. So far, all I've been able to find about him, other than some wiki lists, is a 1994 interview done by Digital Press, which I'll link to in the notes. His history with the VCS and gaming in general has to speak for itself. And thankfully, despite the decades that have passed, Ryzen definitely still knows how to make a great 2600 game. This surprise release by Atari is one of the best things to happen to the VCS, and it would be amazing to see future releases by veteran Atari programmers as well. This game is a must-buy for any original Atari fan, and everyone else should check it out too. Thanks for watching! 2023 has been quite busy so far with new game releases, and there are at least four other games confirmed coming to the VCS in the coming months. The VCS is nearing the end of its second full year since retail release, and the game release pace is picking up instead of slowing down. If you don't have a VCS yet, what exactly are you waiting for? I'll have more videos in the coming weeks, although summer tends to see me busier than normal, so things can get a bit spotty in terms of carving out the time to make these videos. I'll have videos about Heroes of Loot 2, Groundskeeper 2, Skinny and Franco, and more in the coming weeks. Liking the video helps out the channel a lot, and subscribing gets these videos in your feed. Have fun!